Hi, and welcome to The Dental Talk Show. My name is Jordan. And my name is Jay. The Dental Talk Show is the place to come to get the latest news, views, politics, products, and techniques used in the dental industry today. This is Tracy Stewart's five top tips before a CQC inspection. This is Tracy Stewart from MBS Training. I'm a practice development specialist. Quite often when I visit practices, I'm asked about CQC and questions do um, come up. So I would like to share with you five tips that will help you through a CQC inspection. Top tip number one. So my first one is going to be about this Sharps container. As you can see, I am barely five foot and the Sharps container is a little high. So if I'm going to actually empty some Sharps and put them in the container, I'm not going to actually be able to, to see in this. So we've got a couple of options. You can hire a six foot blonde uh, who will be able to place them in no problem or you can actually reduce the height and move the container. It may leave uh, a little bit of patchwork to do in your wall. Or what you could do is you could actually complete a significant event form explaining that you're aware of the situation and what you do to get around it. Top tip number two. When I'm going into practices, quite often I will see sinks with the, with the overflow. Now, a CQC re current regulation would be that this needs to actually be sealed up. And if you find that you have one of these in your sink, it shouldn't be there because it can actually be an area to collect bacteria. If you have a new surgery, you'll find that the overflows are no longer in the new surgeries, but this must be sealed up for a CQC inspection. Top tip number three. So here I have a oxygen cylinder. Recently I was with a practice who had just had theirs returned. It had been refilled, but this wouldn't actually pass a CQC inspection because it's only 400 litres. It needs to be a minimum of 460. Now they say that size doesn't matter, but it obviously does when it comes to oxygen cylinders. Top tip number four. Now you may not be aware, but you will need a medical history for all your team members and clinicians. So this isn't just your patients now, you need to have detailed records on your staff. You'll need to have photo ID, such as a driver's license or passport. You will need to have detailed interview notes. You need to have an appraisal system and you need to have a structured personal development plan. And finally, you'll also need a lot bigger filing cabinet or storeroom to keep all the records in. And top tip number five. We briefly touched on staff records and here is a, a, a big change. So many of your receptionists may not have needed to have a CRB check, but they will need a DBS screening and they will need to actually have that on file. So if you do not have a copy of that on file, please check your records because it will affect you in a CQC inspection. And that's Tracy's fifth and final tip on CQC. So thanks for watching the Dental Talk Show this week. Please hit subscribe, follow on Twitter and you can also download from iTunes. Don't forget to visit the website at www.dentaltalkshow.com and add your comments below. Catch you next time.